Hi, I'm Ransom Stevens, author of The God Patent. This week, the question is, if something goes the speed of light, does its time stop? Does time stop for it? And once again, there's money or beer or something of value riding on the answer to this question. Well, the answer is yes. If something is going the speed of light in vacuum, its time stops. Now, there are a few things to keep in mind. First, it's not light that's special. What's special about light is that it has no rest mass. Anything that is massless travels the speed of light, about 300 million meters per second. If it's in glass, water, or even air, light moves a little bit slower than that and its clock starts ticking. The second thing is that it is impossible to accelerate a massive object like you or me up to the speed of light. Not that you're massive, of course, but that you're not massless. To accelerate an object, even something as light as an electron to the speed of light would require an infinite amount of energy. Can't happen. This is Einstein's special relativity. The faster something moves, the slower its time ticks away. It's been proven in many different systems, including on airplane flights, space shuttle trips, and in laboratories, but it gets weirder. So let's go over to the coffee table and play with some matchbox cars. Say I'm in the Challenger and you're in the Mercedes. Now the Challenger is broken down, so I'm stuck here. But you go off in the Mercedes and you come get up to some very high speed. And if you go zipping past me, as you zip past me, if I look at your watch, I will see that it's ticking slower than mine. Okay, weird enough, right? But check this out. From your seat in the Mercedes, as you go zipping by me, and if you look at my watch, you'll see that it is ticking slower than yours. What's going on? How can each clock be going slower than the other? Well, the way out of this paradox has to do with the fact that to get to that speed, to change your reference frame, you had to accelerate. You have to accelerate away, and if we ever want to compare our watches, you have to decelerate to get back into my reference frame. And if you do, we'll see that your clock has gone slower than mine. It has to do with the acceleration. So let me leave you with this. How does the effect of Earth's gravity differ from if you're just accelerating in a car straight up at 1G? Thank you for your questions. Keep them coming on Facebook, YouTube, or send me an email.